Are you alone this Valentine's Day? Are you looking for love? Then I have a young feeling. I should never go into advertising. Hello everyone, welcome to my Valentine's Day special. Now it's Valentine's Day and I know a lot of you are probably single and like me alone and probably feel like you're going to become some kind of crazy cat lady or dog lady. In my case it would be both because I like both. Anyway, if you're like me, I'm doing a special Valentine's Day app review, which is going to be another dating app, a bit like Tinder, but it's different. <laughs> but I thought it'd be suitable for Valentine's Day because it's a dating app and Valentine's Day is all about love. But please don't forget, if you're feeling just a bit upset because you're on your own, there's always a positive side because tomorrow, all chocolate is going to be reduced. You can buy lots of chocolate and get yourself lovely and happy from the endorphins of chocolate. I'm just going to shut up and get on with the video. Now the app I'm going to be reviewing is called Happen, which is spelled H-A-P-P-N without the E. I don't know why the E is taken out. But the app was made in France. It's been around about two, three years now. It's come around all other countries. How it works is, it's like Tinder, which I'm sure nearly all of you know, unless you're under the age of 18 and you shouldn't know what it is because you're not allowed to use it. Same with this app, this app is also 18 plus. So if you're under 18, you're not allowed to use it, sorry kids. It is done in like a different kind of concept. It is targeted to shy people because people like me, yes I really am incredibly shy. We don't come across like it, but I am. I cannot approach guys, especially the ones I find attractive. So that's a complete no-no for me. So how this works is it is done by he that actually walked past in the street, which can be creepy but can be incredibly useful because the funny thing about this is that I matched with someone who lives down my road, which I found weird but quite funny. Obviously the guy's not a creep or anything because it's all fine. I think it's student accommodation, there's all students down here anyway, apart from a couple of locals as we call them, so <laughs> it's all fine. But basically yeah, it's done by who you cross paths with. And if you're like really shy, then it can be a really good way of meeting someone who's in your actual area. And it also tells you how many times you cross paths with this person. So you can kind of work out where the best way to find them is, which again is probably why it can come across as quite creepy. But it depends how you perceive it. I will now show you the app in question. The icon is there. See that little heart? That's the icon for it. I press on it, it says who you've crossed paths with. So this is done, like I said, for who you cross paths with. It even says it when you first open up the app. I would show you, but it kind of has like people's faces on it. And I feel a bit bad having them in the video and they don't know me. They've got like, this one's a weird one. <laughs> Stay away from it. It's like Tinder in the way that that matches. Like you can only talk to someone if they like you back, vice versa. But instead of calling them matches, they're called crushes, which is a bit, you know, primary school, fifth grade kind of thing. Also you get these things called charms, which I found out that guys only get a select few free charms. But girls get unlimited free charms, but guys have to pay for it after a certain amount of charms have been used. And I think in a way that sounds quite sexist, but I think it's a try and stop the perverts. I don't sound like horrible, but you do get them on these apps. So far, every guy I've met or spoken to has been really nice there's been no weirdos to have its full impact it has to be used in a place where there's lots of people who have the apps obviously you have to find people on the app where you have to have the app if you like meet like a really attractive person in costa for example in your area they have to have the app for you to find them obviously they do then brilliant you can like them and say they like you back but it's apparently it's very popular in places like london where I live, obviously most students just use Tinder for obvious reasons, so there's not many people on this app I can find. And like I said, as it's done by who you cross paths with, you might only find someone once, places that aren't like London, so many people will come up, you might end up losing the person that you actually like. I've got to mention with the charms, charm is when you like someone, then you press charm to get their attention, so that they know you've liked them, it actually comes up in the notification on your phone. 
and you can say like not interested or like and then obviously you instantly match because you already know that they've liked you. But to use the app you have to have a Facebook profile. Get rid of all the like fakes and weirdos basically and when you first make an account it will upload the, your first five profile pictures and obviously that's just like Tinder you get the option to change what photos you want on your profile and every single time you change your profile picture on Facebook it actually will change it on Happens. You have to make sure if you don't want that one on Happens you can really take it off or change it. And also you can adjust the order as well. And then obviously just like Tinder, it is very similar to Tinder, that's why I'm comparing it to. But you always have to write a little bio, it comes it will say your name and your age, and then you have like an about me section or you write a little bio about yourself, what you want people to know about you. And you can connect your Spotify account and your Instagram account to your profiles. So people can like look at your Instagram profile photos as well just find out more about you yeah, yeah, if, if you want to if you, or if you have instagram or spotify but in my profile i have i have had to put how it comes up your age and i'm very aware i look a lot younger than i really do and to make people and, and why people think that she like faking her age she like really 16 on this app and i had to put in the bio i was like yes i really am 23 because it's embarrassing because I know I don't look it and my biggest fear is that I'm going to meet someone who looks a lot older than me and is actually like the same age even younger than me or slightly older I look like they're dating someone who's, who should still be at school <laughs> and that's something that really really scares me that they're going like, to go around with me and everyone's thinking that they're dating like a 16 year old they're like 24, 25 or even 21 I'm just like oh my god so yeah I do have to point out the fact I only am 23 if you are on the app just for a hookup like people to have like people do with Tinder then fair enough you can still like write stuff about yourself you know but I think it's actually meant for dating but and again so it was Tinder look at that worked out I think negatives of this app would be if you live in an area where it's not very popular then you can't find many people it can kind of suck guys they tell me find me a good looking in the street and they don't have the app and you lose it it's targeted to shy people which can be good if you're too scared to approach that person then they're gone forever kind of thing but the positives i would say is the fact it's done by who you cross paths with rather than probably lives like 20 minutes away from you on tinder for example i've only been using it a week so just to let you know i haven't got a lot to say about it yet but another positive is that you can obviously find people much easier, find out where people go. So you can like, it would be easier to organise a date because I haven't actually done yet. So I've only had it a week. A lot of the guys on there seem a lot more decent than they do compared to Tinder. I have done a Tinder review video which I'll post up above and you will see the kinds of things I said to me and this was a long time ago I admit but all the things I used to get told and all that. Basically so far I've been quite impressed with the app but it's been a shame having been able to find as many people but I'm hoping that it will become more popular over time and that it will become actually like a proper dating app rather than like Tinder is where it's literally just for finding people to have sex with to put it on me. But yeah the reason why I use this is Valentine's Day video special was because I haven't done one in a while as always and I thought it'd be appropriate because I'm not really trying to find one Valentine's Day because I've kind of failed on Valentine's Day now and I haven't got any one so maybe for next year. It's a really useful app if you're really shy and want to like maybe find someone to get to know but you rather than just like get a boyfriend or girlfriend find someone to actually get to know which is really good. I really love the concept of crossing paths with people you can get to meet rather than just matching with them on Tinder for someone who lives a half an hour away and could be a really long distance. I mean of course you could find someone who lives really far away having to cross paths with once and you may never see again. It's mostly done by people who live locally and you can find out who lives locally by the times you cross paths with them and I just think it's really useful for if you're shy like me and scared you're going to die alone. There are no more being crazy cat lady for me hopefully. But obviously I would keep you guys updated if anything ever happened in that area but I'm not holding my breath right now. Thank you for watching my video. If you're in a relationship, obviously have an amazing fantastic hope you will get spoiled. And obviously 
if you'd like to, give the app a go. Tell me how it goes for you. Tell me if you if it's more popular in your area. Tell me if you don't find anyone because obviously there's no one has the app in your area, then it's rubbish because you can't find anyone. Yeah, let me know your little updates whether you met someone via a dating app or over this one or even Tinder or whatever. I know it does happen. Have an amazing day and thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to me. And I'm sorry it's been so long. I'll try and do so. I'll try and keep myself updated. But I've got so much work coming up. But there's going to be some exciting ones soon, hopefully, because I'm going to Spain in March and I'm scuba diving again next month as well. So hopefully, there'll be a couple of exciting videos coming up. Hopefully, I really suck. I do apologise. But thank you so much for waiting and being so patient with me. I love you all so much. Bye, guys.